Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I get questions all the time asking how to record slash edit my videos. Today, I'm going to walk you through my methods of recording and editing my RuneScape videos. First off, let's talk recorders. In my eyes, you have two options. One being Fraps and two being Camtasia. This can vary from Camtasia Studio 6, 7, and 8, doesn't really matter. Uh, these are very popular with RS video making and both have their ups and downs. And let's start with Fraps. Fraps is for a person who just wants to click one button and record something into a folder and be done with it. This is pretty much how Fraps operates. In this menu you can see that there are a few options when it comes to recording your gameplay. This makes it simple but sometimes it may be missing something that other programs may have, hence Camtasia Studio. To start off you might want to select your FPS. I keep mine on 60 FPS because YouTube now allows you to record your videos and upload them at 60 FPS, which is great. So if your computer can handle that and you think you can store the space in your hard drive, do 60. 30 is just fine and 29.97 or whatever you put in there, um, you know, it's up to you. Also make sure to keep it on full size. If you do half size, it will cut your quality in half and will not look good. Trust me, it won't look good. All the other options in this menu are pretty self-explanatory. You want to record a stereo with a Win7 sound. or Some settings may be different here on this uh, menu right here if you have a different version of Fraps. So uh, bear with me on that. Also select your video capture key to whatever. I keep mine on the forward slash. And of course make sure you're recording with your, uh, your designated microphone and mess around with the other settings as you see fit. And with all that set, you're pretty much all done and ready to record your clips. The pros with Fraps include it being quick and easy for beginners and that it can record in 60 FPS which YouTube now allows. The cons include the price tag which is $37. That's pretty cheap compared to Camtasia which I will tell you once we go over Camtasia in a little bit. And I believe you can share your Fraps account with friends um, I don't know if this is true, so don't quote me on that, and uh, hold that to your own and check out with your friends and see if you can figure out something. But that's everything that you need to know with Fraps, nice and easy, all goes into one folder, open it up in your video editor and you're good to go. Let's check out Camtasia. Camtasia is for the type of person that wants to do everything in one program. Unlike Fraps, Camtasia has a boatload more options and also has its own video editor. However, Sony Vegas and After Effects are light years better in my eyes. But if you want a video editor program that can just add a few lines of text, insert some clips, then Camtasia is probably just for you and it'll do just fine. Camtasia is also helpful when it comes to recording anything. You can record any screen region. If I wanted to record this little gray part right here, uh, this record the screen part, I could. I could do whatever I want. Fraps is limited to recording only gameplay, only games. Any game that you play, it'll record, but it will not record your desktop or a toolbar or anything that you want to record. To record with Camtasia, simply click record the screen on the top left corner. This will prompt this tool that comes up. It will not show the duration, of course, unless you're recording, but when it pops up, you will have two options right here which will allow you to select the screen region that you want to record whether it's just a square, the whole screen, or whatever you want. And you can also check your audio, see if that works, and your webcam. There's also a bunch of options here like effects, your annotations if you wish, tools, um, your capture options, everything is in here uh, for you to mess around in. So mess with that and see what you like and when you're done click pause and go to a different spot in your game and then you can resume. If you don't like it you can delete and then you can click stop when you're all done. When you are done recording you have two ways to save your file. One being the Camtasia file and two being an AVI file. If you wish to edit in Camtasia save it as the Camtasia file and go on from there but I prefer to save it in .avi which is the same file Fraps saves as. And I continue to open that .avi file in my video editor Sony Vegas. That's pretty much all you need to know about Camtasia. Camtasia has many benefits like I mentioned before about the editor and many different options that you can do, but it cannot record in 60 FPS, at least my program can't. 
Camtasia Studio 8 is what I use. Or no, I use 7. Camtasia Studio 7. Some some other Camtasia um, editors may allow you to do 60. I do not know. So if you buy the most recent one, you may have 60 FPS available to you. Camtasia also has a price tag of $300 for Camtasia Studio 8. You may downgrade it, and it will make no difference, like editing and recording-wise. It'll still record just the same, as long as you're recording in the same uh, frame rate, if you have that option to you. So feel free to record with Camtasia Studio 6. It will make no difference. That's pretty much it for Fraps and Camtasia. So let's talk about Sony Vegas Pro, uh, which is what I use to edit my videos. I won't say much about it other than to click this older video of mine, it should be on the screen right now, of me talking about some must-know tips for the program. These tips will help you in rendering your videos, editing them, um, uh, fixing the aspect ratio, disabling resampling, all that good stuff. So that will give you the basics plus some other good tips to make your RuneScape videos good. Sony Vegas is a great program for any video maker and it leaves you with a ton of options for your video. There's so many uh, uh, special effects and uh, all kinds of text options and things that jump around. There's so much stuff in Sony Vegas and you can use After Effects too, but I'm not experienced with that so um, you guys will probably have to enlighten me on that. Uh, so I couldn't possibly go through all the must-know tips and tricks, so I will just leave you with that video that should be on your screen now. Anyways, looks like that about does it for my recording slash editing methods. Personally, I like Fraps for its ease of use, but Camtasia keeps my FPS steady when I record. So I, I guess I like both and it's up to you. And what I mean by keeps my FPS steady when I'm recording me playing RuneScape, the gameplay itself will look fine whether it's laggy for me um, but uh, Camtasia definitely makes a difference in that aspect uh, so yeah that's gonna be it hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below and I will see you all next time <laughs>